Welcome to Home Tiny Lab. My name is Christoph. Uh, this tutorial will be about um, how to install Xen Orchestra uh, Community Edition. So this is the GitHub page that I use in this tutorial. If you go down on the page, you will see that there is a, an instruction how to install a Xen Orchestra from source, the community edition. This is not what we are going to do for now. This will probably be uh, featured in another tutorial. But we are going at the bottom of the page. And there you can install with one command a virtual machine that automatically starts but there are some steps to do before it's operational all the links will be down in the description and don't forget if you want to see other videos like this to subscribe or to like so the next step will be to open a shell and to start a procedure so I have opened an uh, SSH session to my XCPNG host. If you have a monitor or and keyboard directly connected to your host, you can do it from there. Um, in my case, I'm running my server Atlas, so I am opening an uh, SSH connection. So I will in I will log in as root password. Okay, clear. So now we have to enter the command uh, minus C. The string that's passed through uh, dollar. The command that is passed as a string, uh, the result of the command. So it's um, curl minus s http s uh, raw github user content uh, content.com slash run if a Then orchestra installer updater master exo appliance dot sh closing the bracket. Losing the string, enter. Okay, now we have to select the network that the VM is going to use. So there is only one physical, physical network interface that I can link uh, to the VM and that's ETH0. So I have to select one. I'm not using DHCP, so I must enter the IP address for the virtual machine. So, 192.168.0.32 for IP address. Netmask is good. It's C class. Gateway. It's of my router and that's dot one. So one hundred ninety-two one hundred sixty eight zero one. I'm using the DNS of uh, Google, that's good. Okay, now we start starting downloading. 
So you see the total. Total is here. Three thousand eighty-five. That's what we have received for the moment. And when the download is finished, it will start up automatically the VM and say how to connect. When you receive that message, that means that the download and the startup was done uh, correctly. So now I'm going to stop recording and I'll be back when he has finished downloading and has started up the VM. Okay, the download is almost finished. It took about uh, 13 minutes, a little bit more. So import complete, now starting up the VM. We're waiting for the VM to start and announce it got IP address. So normally it has to be uh, IP address 192.168.032. Okay. It gives the default credentials for the UI and the default credentials for SSH. Those passwords we will have to change. So from now on, we can go to the web browser. Okay. And let's go to the IP address he announced. 32. Uh, your connection isn't private. Okay, click on advanced. Continue to the website. Here you have to enter admin at admin.net as username and the password admin and sign in. Okay, welcome screen. So now the first thing you have to do is add the server XCPNG, your XCPNG host. So add server. I will label it XCP. Let's take it in capitals XCPNG host. The IP address, it's only a label, you can put whatever you want there. The IP address, that's from your host. But for me, well, it was 192.168.030. Username root password and enter to connect or click on connect. So enabled. A warning connection failed. Click for more information. Okay, click on it. Do you want to accept self-signed certificate for the server even though it would be it would decrease security? Click on OK. And now let's go to home and click on pools. So one pool, click on pool, one VM, one host, normal. So we are clicking on the VM, going to the page of the VM, going to advanced, check here the hard drive box, otherwise it will not reboot. Save the page, auto power on, enable. Okay, let's click on save to be sure. Now going to the console and log in as root and change the password for XO for the SSH uh, connection um, password uh, for XO new password and retype new password and enter password updated successfully okay here we can leave the page and now we have to 
manage the users from Xen Orchestra. So going to settings, selecting users. There is one user present, admin at admin.net. Let's change the password for the admin account. And enter. Let's add a new user. My name Christoph. And we will give also the role admin. And password and create the second account. So when we sign out, I can log in with my newly created account Christoph and sign in. We only have one VM. It's normal. We only have one pool with one host. Yep. Using pop, pop, pop. already a lot of memory. Let's check this. So for the host, it's using 1.2, and the XO appliance is using 4 gigabyte. So what leaves us only 2 gigabyte for extra VMs, what's not much. So in my case, what do I do? I am running on my TrueNAS server uh, the EXO appliance so that I have all the space left. So it's on to you, how do you want to organize your home lab? I did it this way, so I can maximize the resources I have. So this was it for installing the XO appliance on a newly XMPNG host. If you like content like this, please uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.